And for those of us who wasn't lucky enough to get invited for the beta, we now finally have access to the Te Avarua National Park. Uh, if you're on PC, that is. Console, early next year. It's even on sale on PC. Pretty, pretty neat. Let's go! Finally on the ground, uh, as per usual with new maps, I think I'm going to be spending quite a bit of time of trying to unlock everything. Oh. oh, dang. I don't even have anything to shoot these with. But right there, we have the very first animal of the uh, New Zealand Reserve. For me, a chamois. Seems to be just minding his own business. Uh, I was actually on my way to the uh, lookout point right here, but uh, heard this guy call... Just gonna take him out with the M1. I have just unlocked that uh, outpost right there, but I haven't changed up my gear as he started yelling at me out here and uh, I figured I might as well go and check him out. He is hit, shouldn't be going anywhere. Really should just go there. I'm gonna go do that first and then we're gonna continue um, before we end up having to run around too much for crazy things. Before we ended up going up there, this is the loadout that we're going to be running with. I bought the new 303, gonna be testing that out, gonna be using the Solokin for the Shamwa and the, uh, I think it's the Feral Goat as well, that is in that class 3, and then the 22 for anything else. As you see, I also carry a tent and I obviously do this just so I always have to uh, the opportunity to place down these kind of travel points if we find any good hotspots or something where I definitely want to be returning to later. Always bring tents on your first time on a new map, guys. It is super important in my opinion. Oh, there's a microwave in here. Ah, imagine the fat guy pays attention to, to the microwaves. Nice. Where is there a uh, thingy to press on? There. Let's see. I really like these lookout points. Those are really cool. Those are super cool. <laughs> uh, so different to anything else we've had so far. All right, now we can see a little bit of the Wakaiti, maybe? I have no idea. I really look forward to the time they introduce the Danish reserve, so there's actually going to be language that I can uh, pronounce, uh, not just sit around and look like a complete goofball. I personally haven't watched a whole lot of videos and streams during the weekend where all of the other creators have had access to the beta. Uh, simply because for the first time in any of the releases, I feel like I actually have the opportunity to get out on a map fresh where it matters. Not Because one of the big things with the creator betas is that everybody playing on the creator beta has to redo everything over again. So at points it nearly feel, felt like when one of the new maps dropped after you'd been playing it for a week so hardcore to get uh, everything shown off to your community and such that you nearly burned out on it. I don't have that with this one. I am super, super stoked to be out here and trying. We have a um, brown chamois here. It's uh, 53.75 kilos. I haven't even looked into all of the different um, weights and such for the animals either. I know the spreadsheets have been up to date, so if you want to check those out, they are on the Discord. Link for that in the description down below if you want to have an easier time trying to find diamonds and such. I'm sure that's going to help you a lot. But um, yeah, let's move on. I think we're supposed to go to the lake and at least have somewhat of a look around up there. It's early morning. I uh, went out around 5.30. So hopefully that is going to be a drink zone for some animals. Uh, more chamois. This time we even have a uh, somewhat decent gun to take them out. There we go. Two shots with the Solokin. Not even sure anything really hit it, but uh, it is going down. I'm not sure, but I heard a lot of the other guys that has uh, been watching streams and such has talked about that it being a bow hunter's paradise, simply because the vegetation and such was so thick, which uh, doesn't bow too well for me because um, I'm not a huge fan of uh, bow hunting or um, very thick vegetation. I hope there's going to be some really open areas as well dark brown the other one was brown this one is dark brown and turns to be a almost grayish beige i what <laughs> i would have imagined this one being brown and the other one being dark brown but uh hey but uh yeah i if everything is going to be like this which i i know it's not it's going to be a very diverse map to uh get to unlock and such but uh i hope there's going to be some uh, wide open planes and such as well 
Uh, so at least so we get to spot the uh, mountain sides too. Because as you know, I like taking my rifles out. I really don't do a lot of bow hunting. We might have to at some point, but um, in general, I'm a very big fan of uh, just a little more run and gun approach than a m probably a lot of the other creators and uh, players of this game. But regardless, you definitely can expect a lot of content to come out on this YouTube channel. So make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, guys. We're also going to be streaming a ton, which we are actually already doing. We're setting up for a whitetail grind over on Twitch as well. Twitch.tv forward slash Seki DK. Love to see you stop by at some point. But uh, for at least the next foreseeable future, it's going to be all about T. Avaroa. If that's how you pronounce this reserve. I've never paid attention to this thing before. Apparently, the hat is broken. <laughs> and this gotta be some of the stuff that we saw in the trailer as well. I have not started on any missions. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be doing that at some point as well. Um, I like to go through them, at least on the new reserves, if there is anything worth it. But um, definitely, when we can find stuff like this, I have no idea. Hey, Hunter, I hope to do more business with you soon. Good luck. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, th th look at that. There is a different writing. What what does it say there? Um, I am really happy how this... What? I have no idea what that says. Uh, I have... I can't read that. It completely disappeared. It was better when, when there wasn't sunlight on it. Huh, that's interesting. It has to be a part of a mission or something. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, these, as I understand, should be scattered out around the map. Um, looks like stuff from recording sets and such. So uh, that's going to be pretty interesting. There should also be some trolls somewhere around, which uh, hopefully we're going to be able to take a look at at some point. And yet another one. I really do like to just take the ATV around and get a little bit of the map opened up so you at least have the uh, opportunity to jump around a little. Um, it is always easier when the maps are kind of flat. I really like these bunk beds and such. What the f Hello? Well, suppose we've found the trolls. Oh, they have like a uh, chest mounted GoPro thing in my bob as well. Nice. That's cool. Oh, this this guy kind of fat. Can't 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 get around that. But yeah, I really like these uh, small lodges here. They're not as impressive as, uh, as some of the other ones, but then, um, yeah, they're kind of cool. Obviously, it had to be these guys. That was the uh, <laughs> the ones that we ended up finding first here. I did bring the 22, so we should be just fine. We know these very well from Hiesfelden. Uh, they do seem to have the same way of spooking here as they do on Hiesfelden as well. So you can basically run all the way up to them and just pick out one or two before they decide to run away. Got a uh, nice light brown one right here. And right here, right here, <laughs> I've been excited to see these bad boys. And then it turns out it's all girls, apparently. But yeah, I have really been looking forward to seeing the uh, feral pig. This, as soon as it was announced, I knew I was going to be happy with it. I have the new 303 rifles here, well, here as well. And uh, let's see if we can get a few of these small ones down. Um, I have no, it's going to be the first shot I take with the 303 as well, so... Uh, Try to make them count. Oh, there's a lot of them. I think we got a few of them down at least. Reload animation seems to be very similar to what we know. Which is fine. But uh, yeah, let's go and have a look at some bacon. Uh, definitely a lot of the spotted variations here. Um, they look cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. Feral goat. Feral pig is probably the uh, the uh, animals that I've been most excited about. Uh, and it is a big deal to me that we now have fallow deer on a new map as well. Very happy with that. Just because, well, then I'm not bound to have to go on Hirschfeld to actually go and find them. So uh, yeah, that's a pretty big deal for me. Where did everything else go? Where did they go? It went this way. My hunter mate for some reason seems to be rather broken, so... Um, that doesn't really help me in my uh, pursuit of tracking stuff. At least we got one down right here. I haven't seen any of the other ones. Huh. That's interesting. But 
we have one here which is a different color. That's a dark brown one. I have angry piggies. Where did they go? Oh, there's blood here. Suppose we'll follow that for a little while. Let's get more. Let's just go with... Oh, he's behind a tree. Let's not uh, start out with shooting trees. What's that? A fallow deer. Nice. Okay, let's get that thing. Uh, more dead ones over there. Okay, okay. Well, let's shoot those first and then take the other one here. It doesn't have quite as fast a uh, follow-up shooting opportunity as the uh, M1. I can clearly feel that because I've been using that <laughs> a little here lately on my white tail grade one grind. Oh well, starting for the white tail grade one grind. Doesn't seem to have very much recoil at all though, compared to any. Well, it it does not seem to have any like bad recoil. It doesn't even get the pig out of the uh, sight when I take the shot, so might actually not be too bad a gun at all. Once again, I still would have loved to see it be a 3 till 7, and then maybe a little less powerful or something, so it would actually have to be a, a contender for the uh, Solokin, but um, no. We have another 4 to 8 rifle right here. I like how it's different, different spots on them. They don't look the same. Well, they probably have like a few different variations of it, but they don't look exactly the same when it's the spotted ones. I really like that. Um, after what I have heard as well, then there is no new multi-mounts, which kind of sucks because I would have loved to see like maybe a feral pig huddle, feral goat huddle, something like that. Um, that would indeed have been amazing. And the last of the piggies is right here. I am actually so far really loving these. Uh, they look so cool. I can't wait to get to see some feral goats as well, but I think this is where I'm going to be leaving you guys because I need to go on stream over on Twitch TV forward slash Sega DK. See you there. Bye!